Welcome to Live Interactive English. My name is Winnie, and I'm Matt. And today we will be talking about Berlin, a city reunited, part one. Which leads me to the question, Matt: Have、mm-hmm. you ever been to Berlin? Yeah, I've been to Berlin quite a few times, maybe four times or so. But I remember the first time I went to Berlin, and when I was there. Germany was hosting the Euro Cup, the soccer or football、mm-hmm. European Championship. Wow! So while we were there, they had lots of cool events set up where you could go watch the football in the streets with the German fans, and it was very exciting to go to this place called the Fan Mile,、mm-hmm. where there was a mile long of just TVs and lots of supporters cheering and watching the games, and that was the first time I really got. Interested in watching football or soccer? So the atmosphere really got you into the whole like fan football, amazing、mm. fun, right? Yeah, it really got me into it. And Berlin itself is such a cool city. Like it has so many interesting things to see and do. And even the the culture there in itself is very interesting as it's. Kind of unique within Germany is it's very、ah. artistic and very free. Okay, so it's very different from the rest of Germany.、Mm-hmm. Well, I personally have never been to Berlin, which is why I'm particularly excited to get into today's topic: Berlin, a city reunited, part one. Berlin is the capital of Germany, and it has a complex history. One of the most important events in Berlin's history was the fall of the Berlin Wall. This November marks the 35th anniversary of the event. Therefore, it is a fascinating time to visit the city. The Berlin Wall was built in 1961 during the Cold War. The Cold War was a period of high tension between the Soviet Union and Western countries. It saw Germany split into two different countries, and Berlin split into East and West Berlin. Hello. Today we are looking at part one of our article: Berlin, a city reunited.、Mm-hmm. So, right there in the title, I'm going to explain the word reunited. So, reunite is a verb, and it can be split into two parts: re, which means again, and unite, which means to come together as one.、Mm-hmm. So when we say reunite, we mean that something has come together again.、Mm-hmm. So this implies that at one point they were together. Yep. Then they were separated, and then when they reunite is when they come back together again. Right. Just like we reunite every few days、mm-hmm. to come and film this. That's right. Right. So another example: the couple reunited after many weeks. Right. Exactly. So let's begin with the article. Berlin is the capital of Germany, and it has a complex history. We have this word "complex," and it is our adjective, and it basically means not simple. It has a lot of different aspects, a lot of different parts. So it's not a simple fact, right? So, for example, you could say, "For my homework, I have to solve a complex math problem." So, right now, we're talking about the history of Berlin, which means it's not a simple history. There were a lot of events that make it complex.、Mm-hmm. One of the most important events in Berlin's history was the fall of the Berlin Wall. This November marks the 35th anniversary of the event.、Mm. Okay, so the thirty-fifth anniversary. So an anniversary is when we remember a date that has happened every year. We remember it every year, and that is its anniversary.、Mm-hmm. So the first anniversary would be one year after the event took place.、Mm-hmm. So in this case, this means that the thirty-fifth anniversary means this happened thirty-five years ago, and. We can celebrate the 35th anniversary this year. Right, exactly. Kind of like when a married couple has been married for so long,、mm-hmm. and they remember it every year. That's their anniversary. So, continuing on, therefore, it is a fascinating time to visit the city. And then we have this word "fascinating," and it basically just means when something is very interesting and it really piques our interest. And so, this is the time that a lot of people are going to probably visit Berlin.、Mm-hmm. So, continuing on with the article, the Berlin Wall was built in 1961 during the Cold War. The Cold War was a period of high tension between the Soviet Union and Western countries. 
So here we also have this word tension, and I just want to describe it a little. You know, tension is when something is very tense, right? That's in the word tension, or it just means very stressful. It means there is a lot of, you know. There, it isn't so free. It is very, very stressful. A very stressful situation. So at the time, the Soviet Union and other Western countries, their relationship wasn't very healthy. It wasn't a very happy occasion. Okay. So continuing on. It saw Germany split into two different countries, and Berlin split into East and West Berlin.、Mm -hmm. So this word "split" means to be divided into multiple parts,、mm -hmm. or at least more than one part. So、right. it can be two, or it can be many parts.、Mm -hmm. So in this case, Germany was divided or split、mm -hmm. into two different countries, and as they say, Berlin had two different parts: East. And West Berlin. Yep, and、uh, we're gonna take a quick break, but I am very, you know, excited and also interested into seeing what else the article talks about.、Mm -hmm. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这两天的课程是要介绍 Berlin 柏林这个城市。标题写到它是。再度统一的城市 ，a city reunited。这个 reunited 前面其实省略了 that was， 而 reunite 这个动词呢，它就可以表达统一、使统一、重逢或是团聚。它的字首 r e 就表示再次、重新的意思。好，那么柏林是德国的首都，它有复杂的历史。那么其中一个最重要的历史事件就是柏林围墙的倒塌。课文提到说，今年十一月是这个事件的三十五周年纪念。因此是造访这个城市的绝佳时机。好，文中用到 fascinating 去形容那种绝佳、极佳的、十分有趣的或者是迷人的。Winnie 老师在解释这个字时，他用到 peak one's interest 来表达激起某人的兴趣。那补充一下 ，peak 这个字是拼作 p i q u e， 那这个动词表示激起，像是激起好奇心啊、兴趣啊等等。再来看到单字 complex， 它是形容词，形容错综复杂的或者是费解的。那么柏林围墙，它建于一九六一年冷战期间。冷战呢是苏联跟西方国家关系高度紧张的时期。在这个期间，德国分裂成两个不同国家。那么柏林分裂为东柏林和西柏林。补充一下文中的 Soviet Union， 就是指苏联。那还有用到一个动词 split，split split 它可以指分开、使分开或是裂开，它的三态同形。那我们接着回到课文中。Life in East Berlin was very different from life in West Berlin. East Berlin was under strict communist rule, while West Berlin enjoyed more freedom and democracy. So the wall was built by the communists to prevent people in the East from escaping to the West. On November 9, 1989, the separation of the city ended when the wall came down. Families and friends who had been kept apart for many years were able to reunite. Later, Germany became one united country again on October 3, 1990. Welcome back from the break. So before the break, we learned about. The Berlin Wall, and it was built in 1961. And at the time, tensions, or you know, the relationship between so the Soviet Union and Western countries were very tense. It was very stressful. And so, when this wall was built, we then found out that Germany was split. Or broken apart into two countries. Okay, so we had the East and West of Berlin. Life in East Berlin was very different from life in West Berlin,、mm -hmm. and you know what? I've seen like some of the videos of the the differences in life, and like everything was different. They had different cars that they could buy,、mm -hmm. different music you can listen to,、mm -hmm. different clothes you can wear. Yeah, and it was completely separate. Yeah, and I think there was like they had some aerial footage of like even the light bulbs that they used, and like the East Berlin, maybe they had really white colored light bulbs, whereas the West of Berlin had very warm tones. So even little things like that were very different.、Mm -hmm. East Berlin was under strict communist rule, while West Berlin enjoyed more freedom and. 
democracy.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have some different government words in here. First, communist rule.、Mm-hmm. So, communist communism、mm-hmm. is a form of government where everything should be shared or public. So,、mm-hmm. people don't own their own home, but it's owned by the country. Yeah, and people don't have their own business; it's the country's business. Yes. So, the idea is that everything should be completely、Shared. fair. Yeah. But in reality, it often doesn't work that、yeah. way, and、mm-hmm. people end up benefiting more. And those are who are in power get lots of power. Yes. So another form of government is democracy. So democracy is a form of government where everyone gets to vote, and the people in power are elected or、mm-hmm. voted for by the general public, by the people that live in the country. Yes,、mm-hmm. and they have a choice. Yes. So for example. The UK and France are both democracies,、right. and in fact, France is often referred to as the first democracy or the first republic. Yeah.、That's、yes,、funny. I think the first would be Greece. Okay, you're、yeah. right. Yeah. So the first republic is France. Yes.、Yeah. But yeah, these are all places where they had a choice in who was, you know, elected or who was chosen to be in power. Continuing on with the article, so. The wall was built by the communists to prevent people in the east from escaping to the west. Okay, so first off, this is we're using the word escape. So this kind of lets you know back then, you know, the tensions really were very high. Okay, and what does it mean to escape? And to escape is our verb. It means once maybe something was trapped. And then they eventually get to break free and leave. So, for example, the prisoner escaped but was soon caught. And the reason they're using the word escape was because you weren't allowed to cross that wall whenever you wanted to. The reason it was there was to kind of keep everyone inside of the east.、Mm, so it's, yeah, it's interesting. You usually think you'd build a wall to keep things out,、mm-hmm. but in this case, it's to keep people in.、Yep. But in reality, because You know, East Germany entirely surrounds West Berlin,、yeah. the Democratic part. So actually, they're kind of more like trapped in. Yeah. But actually, they're more free and can take a plane to other parts of Berlin, right? Other parts of Germany when they、mm-hmm. want. On November ninth, nineteen eighty nine, the separation of the city ended when the wall came down.、Mm. So the separation of the city ended.、Mm-hmm. Separation means the Act of being apart,、mm-hmm. or being separated, or it can also mean the act of move, moving further apart. Yes, separation. So, for example, after a long separation, Jill finally got to see her son again. Okay, so yeah, I've seen the videos of when the wall came down, and、yeah. it was really. The people or the general public that made it happen. Yeah. So at the time when the wall first came down, you'll see a lot of celebrating happening because it was a symbol of finally freedom winning, right? And so you'll see videos of people taking their own sledgehammers and tearing down parts of the wall because the wall is huge. So there's a lot of area to cover.、Mm-hmm. But yeah, there was a lot of celebration going. Yeah, it looks like a, I mean I was truly happiness from those people that were able、mm. to escape East Berlin at that time. For sure. So continuing on, <laughs> families and friends who had been kept apart for many years were able to reunite. Later, Germany became one united country again on October third, nineteen ninety. So a lot of people are forgetting that. This wall, you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, just climb over it, right?" But it wasn't so simple. It was very heavily guarded,、mm-hmm. and not only that, but people don't realize that when they built the wall, they they would build through some people's homes,、mm-hmm. and that also meant that people who just happened to be at the wrong time, at the you know, wrong, right time, but the wrong place, you know, they could be on the eastern side, and they don't get to see their sons, their daughters, their moms, you know, their family members. Yeah, yeah. Many families were divided by this,、mm-hmm. by this separation of the two sides of the country, and they finally could come together again after 1990. But that was a very long time、mm-hmm. of being separated. All right, that's it for. Part one today, but we've got more next time when we look at part two, and we'll see you then. Bye.
刚刚说柏林围墙建于一九六一年冷战期间，那在这期间，德国分裂为两个不同国家，柏林分裂为东柏林和西柏林。那么东柏林的生活跟西柏林的生活截然不同，东柏林受到严格的共产主义统治。那么西柏林享有比较多的自由和民主，所以呢，共产党人就建起这道围墙来防止东柏林人逃往西柏林。老师们就有提到有一些影片啊，空拍影像记录了两边不同的生活。那补充一下 ，aerial 这个字 ，a e r i a l。Aerial 可以形容是航空的、空中的。那么 footage, f o o t a g e 这个名词可以指影片片段。我们再来看单字 democracy. Democracy 它表示民主、民主制度。那这时候是不可数名词，它也可以当可数名词来指民主国家。那我们也补充一下 communism， 就是指共产主义。那么 communist 可以当形容词来形容共产主义的、共产党的。再看到 escape 这个动词，它是指逃避、逃。脱或是逃离。课文接着提到说，在一九八九年的十一月九日，柏林围墙倒塌的时候，这个城市的分隔状态就结束了。那失散多年的家人跟朋友得以团聚。后来，德国就在一九九零年的十月三号再次成为一个统一的国家。好，文中他用到 separation 这个名词来指分隔、隔离、分居。好，那这边有两个重点，我们进入文法时间。我们来看第一个重点是连接词 while 的用法。首先，第一个它可以用来表达而，然而，相当于 whereas， 用来说明对比或相反的情况。例如 ，While Ed likes to travel with his friends, his brother prefers to travel alone. Ed 喜欢跟朋友一起旅行，而他哥哥喜欢独自旅行。那第二个，我们可以用 while 来表达虽然、尽管，那意思会跟 although 一样。例如 ，While the car is old. It's still in good condition. 尽管这辆车子旧了，但它的车况还是很好。第三个，我们可以用 while 去表达在什么什么期间与什么同时，相当于 when。例如 ，Jenny set the table while her mom cooked. Jenny 在她妈妈做饭时摆好餐具。我们看到第二个重点是 prevent 受词 from 加上动词 ing， 这是表达阻止某人做某事，使某人无法做什么什么，或者是防止某事物怎么样怎么样。那动词 prevent 就表示阻止或预防。例如 ，the storm prevented them from going outside。暴风雨使他们无法外出。好，那么以上这些讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。Berlin is the capital of Germany, and it has a complex history. One of the most important events in Berlin's history was the fall of the Berlin Wall. This November marks the 35th anniversary of the event. Therefore, it is a fascinating time to visit the city. The Berlin Wall was built in 1961 during the Cold War. The Cold War was a period of high tension between the Soviet Union and Western countries. It saw Germany split into two different countries. And Berlin split into East and West Berlin. Life in East Berlin was very different from life in West Berlin. East Berlin was under strict communist rule, while West Berlin enjoyed more freedom and democracy. So the wall was built by the communists to prevent people in the East from escaping to the West. On November 9, 1989, the separation of the city ended when the wall came down. Families and friends who had been kept apart for many years were able to reunite. Later, Germany became one united country again on October 3, 1990. 哇、wow, ，Sarah is always posting her workouts on social media. She seems really dedicated. <laughs> Well, she can certainly talk the talk, but I'm not sure if she does all those workouts. Really? But her post seems so convincing. Well, it's easy to talk, but actions speak louder than words. I'll have to see it to believe it. Okay. 
Hi everyone. Today's phrase is talk the talk. Yes, and it means to talk confidently or boast about something, but without necessarily acting on it or proving it. Exactly. You can talk the talk about something like learning a new language or starting a business, but unless you actually do it, you're just talking. Here is an example. He talks the talk about environmental protection, but he never recycles. Or she can talk the talk about eating healthy, but I've never seen her eat a vegetable. <laughs> so remember, it's not enough to just talk the talk. You have to walk the walk as well. Absolutely, Karen. Well, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye bye. bye.